When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. A man called Isaac Watts wrote those words in the 18th century. He changed the course of hymn writing from very formal, quite stringent psalmody to a much more liberated, theologically based hymnody. To us, the words seem very old fashioned, but then they broke boundaries, giving expression to the thoughts and feelings of those who sang them. It was lovely to hear the words on this Good Friday. That line, see from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Now contrast those words with these words from Simon Park in his book, The Gospel. He writes, shapes of people. I see shapes, soldiers smirk. I hear them through the throb, awake and then not. The throb is a noise, a noise of pain. I see them below, they talk and joke, and my cave is dark. I am drowning in the cave, but I will not hate. So forgive them, Father, forgive them. Park brings the harsh reality of crucifixion to those words, sorrow and love flow mingled down. But both men, Isaac Watts and Simon Park, turn our hearts and minds to the utter and absolute sacrifice that was Jesus, the utter and absolute love for all people that was his life. We rightly spend time today contemplating the pain, the humiliation and the sacrifice that is contained in the cross. But where will that contemplation take us? Are we ready for humiliation for our faith? Are we ready to forgive? Are we ready to love? Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. Will that be our Good Friday response? If so, on Easter Sunday, we will be able to give our lives, our souls, our all, to this amazing, divine love. Amen.